All right. Got it all done. Slip this play right here. It's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be solid. Okay. And what happened is your wheel. Welcome back to uh, Clark Performance 101 YouTube channel. Well, welcome back to another day of this, I can't remember, 2014, I don't know, cammed LT jobby. And we forgot to install these Michigan Motorsports DOD block off plugs. So, in order to get to all of this, when the motor is together, you have to pull out both banks of injectors, just so you know. And uh, high pressure fuel pump's got to come out. This is your v loam. This is what controls the four cylinders to shut down. Um, and I guess what you're supposed to do with these plugs here, you come into each one of these holes and you just beat these plugs into them. And then that'll shut oil pressure off to all of these solenoids all eight of them anyway i suppose let me get this all cleaned up and then uh we'll come back to it and i'll show you how how i beat all these plugs in all righty stay tuned I to fuck that thing up. oh yeah but don't dick around what you got to do just beat these little steel billets in there I think these are steel and they're threaded so if you ever decide to uh, 
go back to the other way. I think you can pull them out. I think. Yeah, because that place that he bought them from, that, that place is doing a bunch of LS stuff now. Yeah. And Michigan Motorsports or whatever. Yeah. That's all that, that cylinder sense. deactivation. Yeah, because my Uncle Matt had a truck like this. Yeah. But I don't think his was an LT. I think his was an LS. <sighs> Not a mini LT. I don't remember. I think it was, actually. I believe it was. Just like that, those are all blocked off. Now you gotta go back together. Half an hour fucking just to get down there and it takes 10 minutes. To right, it took me two minutes and 50 <laughs> seconds to put those in. <laughs> I guess. So we're gonna go down there and tell Dad that those fucking fuel pipes are leaking, but I didn't see anything. I guess I could probably give you guys a little bit of closer look in there you know yeah that's it and then you just clean everything back up and uh, install it Tell. Got that 004. That 002. Anyway, you got to replace these fuel pipes anytime you pull them off, just so everybody knows. Because I did try to rerun these ones and it was leaking fuel right down out of there so just so everybody knows replace those every time then yank out that problem okie dokie i suppose we'll get this uh the rest of the way put back together <laughs> 